Major developments after that shooting rampage in California. 911, what's the address of emergency? Hello? Medic, I heard that we've got a gunshot. Right there, we have another gunshot. Shot fire, shot fire. I take great pleasure in slaughtering all of you. You will finally see that I am, in truth, the superior one, the true alpha male. <laughs> This is the face of pure evil. No, not mine. This guy, 22-year-old Elliot Roger, who had everything a young lad could want with his dad, who was a director in Hollywood, showering him with money and gifts. But the one thing he wanted that he couldn't get was women. And after spending a few years at college where he was incapable of getting women to sleep with him, let alone go on a date, let alone even hold hands, let alone even get a phone number from a girl, the pent up rage from all those sexless years that he suffered would lead him to do the most insane act a person can do. Elliot went on a rampage, killing six people, injuring 14 others by gunshot, stabbing, vehicle ramming near the campus of the University of California, Santa Barbara. He then killed himself. Within that, he'd stabbed three men to death in his apartment one by one on their arrival. Three hours later, he drove to a sorority house and after failing to get inside, shot three women outside, two of whom had died. He then drove by a deli, shot a male student to death inside, and then he began to drive through Isla Vista, shooting and wounding several pedestrians from his car, striking several others with his car, exchanging gunfire with the police after he was injured at the hip. He then crashed his car into a parked vehicle and he was found dead inside with a cell self-inflicted gunshot to the head. And the fascinating bit is he documented his descent into madness with a series of YouTube videos bemoaning being a virgin. We are going to watch some of these videos and react to them because this is one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Hey, Elliot Roger here. <laughs> I'm just contemplating about my life and how unfair it's been lately. It's been unfair for the last eight years. Ever since I hit puberty, ever since I started desiring girls, but they never desired me back. It's interesting that the first thing he complains about is entering puberty. Think about his life before then as a rich kid with a Hollywood director dad. Everything he wanted would have been given to him. Also, bear in mind, he's 22, he's still young. Life has been a living hell <laughs> since then. Dramatic. Here I am, taking lonely walks through a park. Right now it's spring break. Everyone else my age is out having fun with their friends and their girlfriends. Let's have a look at what it would have been like for other people. That's what a normal spring break is like. And this is what it was like for Elliot Rogers. So yeah, maybe he's got a point. This is a bit shit. What type of 22 year old listens to this sort of music? They should have known he was a serial killer right then. I'll also panned up for the sunshine bit there. Director like his own man. This one's titled I'm Awesome. I'm getting major Luca Magnata vibes for all you uh, Don't Fuck With Cats fans out there. I'm actually surprised girls were what he was into. This couldn't love the 80s, didn't he? Can hurry, love. No, you just have to wait. You'd think he would have listened to some of the lyrics. Do you know what I mean? You're 22. Give yourself a bit of time before you go on a killing spree. Get on a dating site or something. Do they have one for serial killers? I don't know. What would you call that? Dying to meet you. His smiles look more like a sort of awkward sort of spasm. He doesn't actually look happy. I suppose that's a smile. And then it's, are you looking at me? Well, of course we're looking at you. The fucking camera's on you. <laughs> a little raise of the eyebrow. Was that a wink? I don't know what the fuck we're doing now. That is the most, like weird smile i've ever seen in my life this next video is called why do girls hate me so much it's truly a beautiful day but 
as I've always said, a beautiful environment is the darkest hell if you have to experience it all alone. Not for me. Love my own company. And sadly, I've been alone for a very long time. The guy's 22 years old, man. Gans to college, sees people all day, every day. If there was anyone who just needed to crack a massive wank out and be done with it, it's him. There are so many beautiful girls here, but none of them give me a chance. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. Probably the teeth. Be honest with you. No, it, it look, it may be the hair as well. The hair is definitely needing a good old trim. Dress sense ain't up the much either. If we're being no, we're being honest. I do everything I can to appear attractive to you. I dress nice. I'm sophisticated. You're just using these generalizations that absolutely mean nothing. I have a nice car. A BMW. Now he's got a point with that one. I can't actually argue, because if you've got a BMW at college, it's usually and it's happening for you. So yeah, that should tell him more than anything that he's repulsive. I'm polite. I'm the ultimate gentleman. And yet, you girls, you never give me a chance. I don't know why. You know, I, I put a lot of effort into dressing nice. These, these sunglasses here were $300. <laughs> Giorgio Armani. I'll put them on. Yeah. See? We've all met lads who had a little bit of this in them. There was always that one lad who just could not fucking fathom why women didn't give a shit. Now he's just standing around in the middle of a road somewhere showing off his Giorgio Armani sunglasses there. See? Hold on. Oh. Car. Oh. He has the car coming up. Oh. Sorry, what? 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 What's that? Oh, the directions. Uh, yeah, you go down that, turn the left, and then the neck on the third one. Yeah, champion. What was I doing? Ah, nothing, mate. Nothing. Just doing a bit of, bit of bird watching, something like that. See? Look at how fabulous I look. Guy in the rear view mirror, like, what, is he what the fuck is he doing? I feel so invisible as I walk through my college because none of the girls there pay attention to me. So many beautiful blonde haired girls walking around. Loves the blondes, doesn't he? Your cascading blonde hair. He uses words that, yeah, cascading. Maybe just try and sort of speak ordinarily, mate. I mean, I'm trying to give him dating advice here. What the fuck's wrong with me? The guy's dead, but you know what I mean? I'm 22 years old and I've never had a girlfriend. I'm still a virgin. I've never had the pleasure of having sex with a girl, sleeping with a girl, kissing a girl. I've never even held a girl's hand. The thing is, I do understand that this could fuck some lads up royally, but this level of self-pity is fucking dangerous. And that's just such an injustice because I'm so magnificent. He has that major blind spot that a lot of psychos do where it's like, okay, nobody wants you. Why not? It's a bias market. If they, if they wanted you, they'd have you. They'd be all over you. So clearly you are the problem in this because there's a whole boatload of them. You've just said how many pretty girls are at your uni. None of them want you. Sorry if this is triggering any lads out there watching. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a fucking just don't. Understand. None of them want you. Yeah. And we see this time and time again in modern society where people just deliberately don't want to accept that they are the problem. And that pisses me off because I should be the one with the girls. Why? <laughs> I mean, look at me. Uh. I'm gorgeous. Why won't you give me a chance? This is insane. They could have saved someone's life if they had picked up on this. I was doing my shopping and I see this this, like, disgusting looking loser there's this nastiness within them isn't it he says these little things like i was all alone which i always am which makes me feel so miserable and you almost sort of think oh is there a bit of humanity in there somewhere but then it, it, it's that darkness within him and he, he immediately comes out and says things like there's this disgusting loser it's funny because i've seen this clip online where there was this hollywood guy talking about how they define a hero from a villain and ironically they all start with the same problem which is trauma and it's how they respond to trauma the the villain wants revenge on the rest of the world for what pain they've been through. Whereas the hero wants to make sure that no one ever go through that again and then they will protect the weak 
from that and it's a very real thing and we're seeing it with this kid right now of turning his pain into fuel to inflict more pain on the rest of the world well he's a loser in my opinion and he walks in with these two beautiful blonde girls at his side. Sounds like a loser to me. Yeah, yeah. The jealousy of this kid is absolutely palpable. It's like the fuel on the fire. It's not just that he can't have it. It's watching other people have that happiness. That's driving him insane. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was so insulted by that because I should be the one with the girls. All right. Why is that? But you never give me a chance. Why is that? If you just give me a chance, why get should to I? know me, why you'll should see I? that I am worthy of you. Oh, really? Why? Because I am. Oh, right. Okay. He knows that he is not what people want, and he knows why. He just doesn't want to face it. So he says vague things of, I am great. I'm magnificent. I'm gorgeous. I'm beautiful. None of, none of it means anything. And that's what's solely driving him mental is because he understands the truth deep, deep down. He just doesn't want to face it. That's why he's doing those videos partly is to rewrite how he views himself by portraying this version of him, which is a bit of a character. I've got no doubt that when he's off camera, he is a sobbing little mess who feels utterly embarrassed and ashamed of who he is. But on here, yeah, he tries to play it off like the villain. Enjoying a nice vanilla latte. Thinks he's very interesting. Oh yeah, that's nice. Makes me feel all pumped up. <laughs> Those little looks to the camera, it's, it, he's constantly wondering, how is this being perceived? How am I coming across? What will people think when they watch this? Ego maniac. I've been doing a lot of thinking about how sad and unfair my life has been. All because girls haven't been attracted to me. Oh my god. This is literally a kid who had everything handed to him from day one. And this is the first time anything's required a little bit of fucking effort. I've been going through college for two and a half years now. Oh god, another fucking sob story about no one wanting to shag him at college. While other guys get to enjoy all the pleasures of, you know, sex and socializing and partying. You know, I bet he probably didn't have the balls to approach many women. All of this rage and all of that, he was probably terrified of rejection, which is why he'd rather sit in his fucking car and moan and complain and bitch and whine about women not wanting him instead of getting out there, being sociable, risking rejection, wear your heart on your sleeve and be open-hearted. This guy doesn't even have a heart to be open with. He'd rather just focus all on himself. I mean, you give a chance to all these stupid, obnoxious guys that I see, but you don't give a chance to me. Why not? I'm, I'm such a magnificent guy. I'm beautiful. You can't deny that. He's slating these other guys. Of, Why would you want them? They're slobs. They're obnoxious. It's like, yeah, obnoxious, meaning outgoing, confident, fun-loving. It's not fair. Every single day Such I have bitch, to be insulted by the sight of guys enjoying girls while I'm all alone. Imagine you're on a date and that guy is just staring at you and your missus is like, what's that guy looking at? And you're like, they're nice. So must be enjoying sort of young love. Must be, must just be happy for us. Do you know what I mean? And this guy's fucking gritting his fucking teeth, gritting his fucking fist and I'd fucking love it if they died right now. Those beautiful blonde girls should be walking with me. <laughs> it's another one. Not those brutes. I deserve them more. Why? Why do those horrible men get to experience the love and affection of such beautiful, heavenly girls? Heavenly. Well, I've had to rot in loneliness in <laughs> my life. It's not fair. It's such an injustice. This guy is such a little whiny bitch. I'm just admiring the view from my father's house right now. This guy literally grew up in privilege. Imagine that was your son as well. Fuck, you know. You know, you're fucked up if this kid came out here, don't you? I can hear some kids playing down there. I'm gonna go and kill them later. I wish I could be a kid again. Those were the happy years. Hey, Elliot Roger here. I'm just sitting in my car right now. Enjoying the view of the beach. 
and my view has been ruined by this sight right here. Is he on about the bins? Sitting right there on that bench. Yeah. Is a young couple. Oh, he wouldn't like that, would he? I was enjoying such a nice view until they came and sat down and started kissing. Genuinely, anyone else would go, Oh, this is not nice. Oh, Where is this guy? Oh, for fuck's sake! I was perfectly happy until you two came along and fucking ruined it! When does that guy get to have such a beautiful girlfriend? He's only seen the back of her head from fucking 100 meters away, but apparently it's just beautiful. To be fair, when you've never even had a woman hold your hand before, most things are beautiful. Why can't I experience something like that right there? What, those two? Or her? No, none of them? None of them good for you? It's torture for me to watch, but I have to do this. I have to film this. I'm now really hoping that these two start getting overly affectionate. I want him to crack. He's in heaven right now. He's probably just sitting like, ah, just gone for a little bit of a wonder. Maybe we'll grab some fish and chips afterwards, gone home for a shag. Because no beautiful girl wants to be my girlfriend. That's true. That is true. I hate them. This is starting to feel like the YouTube comment section a bit. He's like, I hate them. I'm like, you don't even know them, mate. Like, how can you hate someone you don't even really know? Well, this is my last video. It all has to come to this. Tomorrow. It's the day of retribution. The day in which I will have my revenge against humanity. Against all of you. We need more Disney movies that where people die at the end and things aren't a happy ending. Because too many people grow up with this expectation, this demand of, I will have my happy ending. Every, I will get the girl. Everything will work out. Things are going to be perfect. And it leads people to have fucking breakdowns when reality hits and life sucks. I don't know why you girls aren't attracted to me, but I will punish you all for it. You're not going to punish them all for it, actually. You're just going to kill a few people, make a few families absolutely heartbroken, and then everyone else will go on about their lives as if you never existed. It's an injustice, a crime, a because crime. I don't know what you don't see in me. I'm the perfect guy. Literally pre-rampage, the day before going off and killing a load of people. I'm the perfect guy. I will punish all of you for it. <laughs> his attitude here yeah, is if i can't have you then i will destroy you and you would be shocked the older you get the more you see this kind of attitude in society men and women where everything is disposable and i will slaughter every single spoiled stuck up blonde slut i see inside there you will finally see that i am in truth the superior one the true alpha male <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. I was just thinking, what would his dad say about this? And actually, his dad did an interview about this. How are you? Every night I go to sleep. I wake up. And I think of those young men and young women that have died. And they were injured and were terrorized. And my son did that. My son caused so much pain and suffering for so many families. He has to feel a level of responsibility. Like anyone who has any regular amount of interactions with people, let alone a director in Hollywood, should have been able to look at this kid and be like, something is very, very wrong here. It's like a, re a reverse nightmare situation. When you go to sleep normally, you have a nightmare and you wake up and, oh, everything's okay. Yeah. Now I go to sleep. I might have a nice dream and then I wake up and then slowly the truth of what happened dawns on me and you know that is that my my son was a mass murderer. You did not think that Elliot was suicidal or certainly not homicidal. There's no way I thought that this boy could even could hurt a flea. I mean this is this is the most unbelievable thing Barbara. What I don't get is we didn't see this coming at all. You had him in therapy for a, a decade before this happened, so you knew he wasn't great. Is when you have somebody who on the outside is one thing and on the inside is something completely different and you don't 
see it. So he'd seen multiple therapists since he was eight years old. And he'd even gone as far to create a manifesto, which was 107,000 words, called My Twisted Worlds, The Story of Elliot Roger. And he'd emailed it to his parents and family and friends and his therapist. Apparently, he'd frequented online forums where he and other men posted misogynistic statements and described themselves as incels, a member of online subculture based around its members' perceived inability to find a romantic or sexual partner. So basically, a place where him and other guys can talk to each other and blame women for their inability to have a relationship. Rogers has also been referenced by other perpetrators or suspects of several other mass killings. For example, Alec Manissian, who killed 10 and injured 16, posted on Facebook beforehand, the incel rebellion has already begun. We will overthrow all of the Chads and Stacys. All hail the supreme gentleman, Elliot Roger. Jesus Christ. It was later revealed that the authorities had a chance to prevent the attack well before the memorable day. No. Elliot's mother came across the uncomfortable video soon after they were posted while researching her son's name, fearing that he may have been transported to a nearby hospital. The worried mother hadn't heard from Elliot in three to four days and was feeling very uneasy regarding his whereabouts. After finding the alarming content, she immediately contacted mental health officials who alerted the local authorities. Officers then began to look for Elliot and found him in his apartment before proceeding to ask about the videos. When conducting the check, police surmised Elliot to be an extremely polite young man that did not seem to be acting in a concerning manner. The 22-year-old convinced the authorities that he was completely fine. Yep, open and shut case today, folks. Turns out he's just really polite. What about all the stuff he's saying about how much he hates young girls and how he wants to have retribution one day? Nah, he's absolutely fine, to be honest with you. I thought he was pretty chill. Ever thought that he might be lying to you, dickhead? Although Elliot talked about his plan for the day of retribution in his most infamous video... He left out the horrific agenda that was supposed to take place one day before the actual attack. Unsurprisingly, Elliot stated that he would torture those he deemed attractive first. He detailed how he would pour boiling water on their bare skin, along with flaying, stripping, and cutting their flesh before removing their heads. Damn. This is getting darker by the second. To begin his day of terror, Elliot attacked and killed 19-year-old George Chin, a friend of his roommates. He left his body in the fetal position, surrounded by blood-ridden paper towels in the apartment bathroom. The autopsy report would identify that George had been stabbed approximately 94 times. Wow. He got off on that like that's the type of shit where like the Luca Magnotta guy when he was stabbing he he just couldn't stop once he started he couldn't stop because uh, there's all this pent-up rage inside these fucking creeps that's why they keep they can't help themselves once they start Elliot then took out his rage on his two roommates 20 year olds Waihan Wong and Chen Hong he attacked and killed them in one of the bedrooms leaving their bodies face down with bed sheets and clothes over them they too died from multiple stab wounds. Around 9.15 p.m., Elliot made his way to the Alpha Phi house in Ila Vista, California, where he planned to kill every girl that resided in the well-known sorority. Luckily for the girls, a code was required to enter. Fortunately, the sorority sisters were able to dodge the determined Elliot, but others weren't so lucky. Authorities discovered Elliot's computer resting atop his sheets, open with the words, your video has been uploaded, written across the screen. So that was the story of Elliot Rogers, someone who thought he was beautiful, magnificent, but really was a deranged little bastard who was such a selfish, jealous little prat that it overwhelmed him to a point of he wanted to torture people. He wanted to not just take their lives, but make them suffer as much as humanly possible. This was one of the most mind-blowing stories I've come across, and I do want to cover more like this. So if there are other guys out there who have similar backgrounds and similar videos that we can look at and analyze i'd love you guys to send me more because as much as these people are horrible they are fascinating to talk about and let me know what you thought in the comments below about this guy was a harsh was there a real human in there somewhere or was that just a devil which to me would no matter what would never have been anything other than a killer. It wouldn't have mattered if he'd had romantic relationships with women because for me, the darkness, the evil within him would have come out in any other way. It was always going to. And 
I just think it's so criminal that no one twigged at any point long before he did these horrible things so that they could have saved these people's lives. Don't forget to hit the like button and I will be back with more crime stories on the True Geordie YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.